Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. This is a Christmas special, as you probably would have already guessed, and um, what better way to celebrate Christmas than to give someone an obsolete, mostly non-functional um, piece of software for their Windows 3.0 or 3.1 machine. I couldn't think of a better Christmas present myself. So. Um, I do hope you enjoy this video and let's dig in and explore the software. Okay, so let's actually have a look at this Christmas thing. Um, if I can find it. I think I put it um, in the... If I can actually remember how to use Windows 3.1 Right, so we're now in the A drive Let's go and find something along the lines of setup Oh, there we are, setup.exe So, let's find it I'm going to turn the volume down because apparently Okay, here we go. Go again, so, um, uh, would you like to proceed? Yes. Okay, I will install it there, continue. And it is now slowly installing I don't think even that company down there even exists anymore the Sajini Swan I think it's called Well, I suppose this gives me some time to make some Christmas cards for the incredibly, well, small amount of people which uh, are worthy of me writing Christmas cards to. Yeah. You know, perhaps this is their plan all along. They plan for the installations to take so long that in fact it actually rolls on to Christmas so by the time this is done um, I'm filming this in well November the 21st so by the time this is done it will be December the 25th This is taking something stupid, just like about 10 minutes to slowly load all these files off a floppy disk. What is its problem? Right, I am going to actually move it back now and make some Christmas cards, so please bear with me. There we go. Right. Um, you should write this to Dear Captain James Tiberius Kirk. Oh, um, Interesting. Christmas for Windows setup did not stick to sound card on your system. If this is incorrect, see readme.txt on your Christmas for Windows diskettes. Well, as soon as I'm using a vir virtual diskette, um. Oh no, they mean. Duh. They mean obviously on the actual 
just getting directed, yeah. Right, well, um, that's fine if the mouse will respond. There we are. Christmas for Windows installation is now complete. Let's have a look. So, um, about Christmas. So, Christmas was apparently made by Cygenix Incorporated, um, and it is the third release. So, let's close that. How about let's do the icon setup? Um, okay. Oh, one moment. Sorry about that interruption. Um, so, the icon setup, I don't know if that, I don't think that's worked. Christmas for Windows 94. Sound configuration. Well, that doesn't work, and I think there's slowly an issue because something. Well, the mouse cursor can't actually go beyond this point anymore. Weirdly. Oh no, it can actually now. There we are. I'm not sh quite sure what I'm wrong with, but. So, my overall thoughts on this software, well, if you really want to buy someone a, well, as you have already seen, and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a completely unstable piece of software, which um, just produces horrible visual themes, horrible backgrounds, and a non-functioning sound system, then this is the software that's right for you, or if you want to get somebody a present as a joke I suppose you could um, either get a physical copy of this off eBay or even get a um, copy off of it off of a beta archive site then this would be actually a rather funny Christmas present and also a bit mean so well that is basically it for this video uh, thank you all very much for watching and I do hope you all have a lovely Christmas um, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.